for those seeking to assign responsibility for the struggles of Chicago Bears quarterback Justin Fields in the first two games of the 2023 season, as we thoroughly discussed here, they found ample ammunition during Fields' press conference on Wednesday. Regardless of whether the blame is warranted or not, it's rare to witness a player openly articulate his difficulties with a coaching staff to the extent that Fields did. In his own words, Fields expressed his intentions for the upcoming week, stating, My goal is to go out there this week and say F it and just play football how I know how to play football. He emphasized the need to reduce overthinking, embracing a more instinctive style of play. Fields intends to shed the mental clutter and approach the game with a simpler mindset, reminiscent of when he excels the most playing freely and authentically. He plans to shed the weight of excessive analysis, focusing less on prescribed actions and pocket strategies, and simply embracing the essence of the game. When probed about why he had been overthinking, Fields ventured into intriguing territory. He mentioned the possibility of coaching being a contributing factor, suggesting that while coaches fulfill their responsibilities in providing guidance, there comes a point when he must let go of the pregame analysis and play instinctively. Fields also acknowledged the coaching staff's emphasis on working more from the pocket, referring to an incident involving a strip sack by Buccaneers linebacker Cam Gill. In this particular play, Fields had felt the urgency to leave the pocket due to his internal clock, which led to the sack. Fields expressed the delicate balance between taking coaching advice and applying it on the field. While recognizing the importance of pocket presence, he highlighted the need to trust his instincts and extend plays when necessary. Fields' candid remarks during a press conference raised questions about the appropriateness of such public discourse. What are your thoughts on his behavior and comments? Do you believe it is acceptable for a player to discuss coaching matters openly in this manner? Share your opinions in the comments below.